Hey guys, my name is SimC. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Room 2. We're playing on the Divine Et Impera submod as Sparta. So, let's get straight and back into the campaign. So, if you've been watching the last couple of parts, or episodes, that's what I call them, uh, we managed to eliminate Epirus and Athens. Had a couple of decent battles. So, we were in a time of peace. I've skipped quite a few turns ahead, put money into the economy, and built up two professional armies that I'm happy with. And we're going to be attacking Knossos in today's episode. So, currently have my faction leader, Arius. Arius, yep, that's his name. <laughs> so I have... What have I got? I don't even know how many. I've got three, six, nine, ten units of Spartan Hoplites. Got some um, Spartan Lancers as well now. Two units of Citizen Cavalry. Now, I have these Greek baggage train. You might be wondering who the hell that is. Well, obviously in DUI, there's this new supply sort of mod uh, in the game that they've implemented. Um, this is my first campaign playing with it, so purchasing food locally, this army consumes, yada yada yada, you, you know all that. But so uh, yeah, that's basically what, why I've got this unit, this train unit. Um, it actually can fight, which is interesting, but basically, um, what's really to take note of there? Uh, baggage train can supply armies even under harsh weather conditions. It's vital for prolonged military campaigns, especially being on the fucking island of Crete. Like, isn't there only like drunk British men on there? <laughs> I don't even know. Right, okay. Um, second army here. Now, also, um, I've put money into the economy. So, what was I going to go with? Four units of uh, Periokoi Peltasts, Helot Slingers. This army. Hopefully you can try and replicate it the same. Got some Citizen Cavalry as well. Sparta. We have upgraded it. And the farm. Quarry. Athens. We have a slave trader. And a traveler's lodge, which will increase our food. We also have a decent barracks. We actually can upgrade it so we can get hero Spartans, rural Spartans, and Spartan swordsmen once the... Um, oh, bloody. What's it called when you unlock it? Reforms. That's it. Larissa, got a farm as well, small village, and an Apollonia. Do I need a barracks there? Probably not, to be honest. want to convert that to a, a trade soon. We are contra we're converting here. But um, actually, guys, I picked up on something over the last couple of episodes. I was going on about how shit um, Perioike... No, it was... Um, Oh, fuck. It wasn't Perioka. It was... I can't even remember the bloody stupid names now. I can't pick it up to recruit them because I'm not in the territory. Um... Scrotishi? Scrotishi Swordsman? When I take bloody Nosos, I'll, I'll remember. Um, what were they called? Something swordsman, whatever those swordsmen I was using, and I kept on saying, oh, these guys don't really survive the order as well. I actually found out that they're actually a knight unit, and they don't use any armor, which is crazy. But I'm hoping these real peltasts here, obviously they can throw peltasts, and they're not as heavily armored as the Spartans, so they should be able to flank and get some kills. They have 31 armor. So, I want to hopefully test them out against Nosos. So, the plan is, let's have a look at the world map. Currently, obviously, I have Sparta here, myself. Macedon to the north, Cremaria, Pergamon's taking most of Asia Minor, Egypt as well. Carthage owns most of what they did from the start, and Rome occupies most of Italy. I want to go to war with Macedon. I want to consolidate my holdings in Greece. So, to test my armies out, what better way to attack Knossos? Because I want to obviously try to get the entirety of Hellas and Macedon. Now, unfortunately, for Knossos, they were my... Military uh, defensive allies. Obviously, I did that at the start. We we're very vulnerable, only just having Sparta at war with Epirus, quite possibly Macedon and Athens. So, basically, during these campaigns, I usually betray my allies. I only make alliances with them so they don't attack me. That's the bottom line. So, we got the champions of Nike here. Um, I think Nikon, yeah, my second best general is 28 years of age. Arius will be dying soon. Uh, has been politically injured, I guess. Trade rights wise, we're making a superb amount of money, 22,000 per term, and that's only going to get better once we can get some decent harbours. I have a fleet, of course, if you can remember, sailing around the known world to try find other factions and get trade rights with them. Technologies wise, 
we had to get some better food. But apart from that, not really too much else we can do. Probably we'll push upon Macedon once I push pushed upon there. Victory conditions wise, what do we need to do? Italy, Syria, Persia, Thrace. So we don't actually have to go. We do have to go to Persia, of course, which is a pretty long way away. Um, we need 90 regions. Don't know if I will push on Rome just yet, simply because I feel like I want to give them more time until they get some reforms in and get some decent units, so they're a bit of a challenge. They're like, like absolutely rushing them now and getting them because, well, Rome is arguably one of the strongest factions in the game. Hopefully we can give them a run for our money. So, let's do the dirty Commander. work and go to war with Nosos. So, I want to move into range so I can start raiding. So we're going to start raiding. Maybe this can entice them out for a fight. Because I'm not entirely, well, I don't entirely know what we're going to be coming up against. So we'll start raiding. Yeah, because we don't know. And obviously they have a 15-man garrison and a 3-man fleet. So what we're going to do is, unfortunately, Nosos, we're going to have to declare war on you, I'm afraid. You're not war at war with anyone or anything. Usually do that. Um, yeah, you don't want to join my confederation. That's pretty sure of that. So, we're at war with Nosos. We are raiding, so we're making our money back now. But it'll be interesting to see how our army builds go. Okay. I think we're pretty well right to do a save. Sure, why not? Let's end the turn and see what they do. But guys, if you are enjoying this Divide Des Impera Spartan campaign, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Sorry about that one, guys. I got interrupted. So, let's end the turn and see what Nosos do. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Kind of interesting. I would imagine that they would attack us. It would be the smartest thing to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Because the thing is, I'm crippling their economy now. So they're going to have to deal with it quite significantly. They're in a very, very bad uh, situation. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I bloody clicked off everyone. <laughs> Word has reached us of a Gallic slave whose skills are as goldsmith. As, okay, 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 right. Uh, purchase him. Free him. Prosperity. Yeah, we'll purchase him. Talented man shouldn't go to waste in this glorious empire. So they've come out and they're fortified, but by the looks of it, they've only got militia hoplites. And they will be losing food. So I think I might just stay in my stance. <laughs> I don't really see a need of um, pulling back. Can we get some cool Cretan archers or something? Yeah, mercenary. 500. 400 per turn. How much do these guys cost? 29. Holy shit, that's a... That's a hell of a lot of... Um, upkeep. It's not even worth getting them. They're not even that good, I don't think. Right, I'm going to keep on raiding. I just want to double check the bonuses. So... Minus upkeep, melee attack, defense, morale. Yeah, that's really the only thing. So I'm quite happy to sacrifice the defense and get the melee attack. You just need to remember to be the one attacking. <laughs> just sending my ship around to get trade rights. Most of the Hellenistic and Egyptian, Italian, Carthaginic factions all seem to want trade rights, but the barbarians are very, very hesitant. Don't know why. Nosos wants a peace treaty. Today, but only if join confederacy? No. I don't want to join a, make a confederacy with them. They are weak. Holy shit. The golden goal. The slave skill was without equal. Is Wow. 5,000! Superb. Absolutely superb. Bactria, a Hellenistic faction, has gone. Which is pretty unfortunate. Now, these poor bastards are, are sailing away, negotiating trade rights with uh, as many people as possible. Where the hell have they gone? Have they given up? <laughs> Fuck it! 
We're out. <laughs> I don't understand. Right, okay. Nosos out. <laughs> right. Um, we'll go with the harbour. And we'll upgrade the hoplite barracks at Athens. I don't need a... I don't think I... Oh, maybe I do need a thing in Apollonia. I'm trying to think what I could change it to. What could be worth... A quarry, maybe some more food. Oh, no, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Oh, do we need it, though? That's the thing. I guess when we push against Macedon, we're going to need a, a military thing. Here. We need to re we're going to be able to need to recruit troops at Pella when we continue to push against Thrace. They have a lot of armies. What's, like, the sway of control against them? Yeah, we're actually not favoured to win. Quickly, just... I'm pretty sure most of, yeah, the barbarians and the... Iberians don't particularly want much trade with me, which is a shame. You are welcome. Because I want the money. Well, uh, you can't. You are welcome. Yeah, can't please everyone. Uh, where were those? Like, well, uh, you missed it. There we are. No, not interested. Right, let's focus on uh, Nosos, eh? <laughs> let's stop raiding. Why are we in? Oh, it's okay, because there's no food on the island, probably. We, uh, skinned that bastard pretty well, I think. Attack. Or not? Where the hell are they? Where... They're mostly hiding in the forest somewhere. Well, hmm. I think I might actually just auto resolve this. Then we can focus on Macedon. Uh, maybe not, actually. Thing is, I don't want to fight them. In a siege, if I can avoid it, I'm because I'm making a hell of a lot of money just bloody raiding from them. They have reinforcements there. We're in circle. We'll wait a turn. Because I don't particularly like sieges overly that much. I try to avoid them if I can, but. For the sake of continuity sake, time wasting, just trying to get that, I might just wait. We'll see. I don't know, I just, like, I've been playing Total War for, like, oh, God knows. Eight years, probably ten years, I don't know. A long time. And, I guess to a point where sieges are so repetitive. Okay, Nikon's ready, that's good. Lost trade with Serenica. Get Nikon back into the fray. And we'll go with Spartan Lancers. Bloody worth spending that 700 just to get them. We are losing a lot of money because there's no food on the island. Right, technologies wise, what can we do here? I don't really know what's best to go for now. Not really point going through the barracks and stuff just yet. Slaughterhouse, that's not really going to help. Wine shop. Oh, that might help. We're not at the point of really upgrading settlements just yet. Maybe we start... Maybe we take out Master, we might. So, we'll probably just go with... Just upgrade them buildings. Right, we've still got a lot of money. Irrigation ditches. We don't have enough to build another. But, um, they're in another fortified stance. I'm still better to fight them on the field there. In that fort, than to actually do the siege. Because then they could actually retreat. I do say, but yeah, I am losing men as well. Yeah, we'll fight them on the grassland. Okay, let's fight this one on the field. At least they'll be more clustered. What do they got? Archers rise. Got some archers, slingers. We've only got two slingers, and then we've got my Peltas. 
So, we'll just have to wait. We might be able to fight their other army on the field because it is reinforcing. It won't be actually in there, I don't think. Could very well be. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably better to do the siege because there's going to be no towers there, is there? I guess they're more clustered here. Oh, just bumped the mic. My apologies. Because these towers do have unlimited shots, so it's probably not the the best um, decision, but I've made it. I made my bed. Now we need to finish it off. Made my decision. Now I'll deal with the consequences my way. Okay. Uh, we'll split up the Peltast as well. They do have their reinforcements. Oh, maybe they did deploy. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, these baggage guys aren't. I'm just curious to see what they look like. Yeah. Well, they're not going to be entering the field. These Spartan Lancers look fantastic. With that nice little, I don't know what, I don't even know what you call it. What's the thing on the, the horse's head? Seems very Greek. Looks cool though. So we'll keep the general. And then back there, cavalry. Where can we put you? Probably bang smack in the middle just here. We'll see where they deploy. So, my reinforcements will be coming in. And so will theirs, I think. But we'll just see what they do. Reinforcements and the enemy are going on this flank here, along with my men. So I might even just hold out the siege for a second and fight this other army before we push. It might actually be a pretty smart idea. So yeah, fall everyone over on this side, fall everyone over here. We're going to engage this other army. before it gets time to rally up with its friends. I just need to be careful with the one in the, uh, the fortified position stands there. It'd be a smart idea to rush this. I'll keep this unit here. It will take too long to move otherwise. Um, Alright, citizen cavalry. Pushing up. What are they charging? They're heavy cavalry. I think we could get them though. Hit my cavalry with theirs. Engage this first army. But this is going to be a pretty... Oh, can we go into uh, wedge quickly? Quickly! Flying wedge! This, this charge is going to be brutal. Go into flying wedge, get in there. can form a line here, I will. But we'll just have to see how we do. But I'm hoping we can hold on here. They aren't charging out there. So we got him though. I'm going to run them down. Okay. Pull this side, run them down. Let's engage them, come on.
Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on the fort, but yeah, these guys are gone. Let's engage them. Flank the cavalry around. Okay, get my Peltasts to fire behind them. A little bit messy here, but we'll keep my skirmishes there. Cavalry, that's where are you all? Just need to keep an eye on you. I think we're not going to be able to use them though, we should be right. Alright, let's finish these guys off. I might even just like not get, let my Peltas waste, just get into melee, get just stuck in. And not waste it, because we're going to need them to get into the settlement. However, this engagement running all the way over to the other side of the battlefield will knacker everyone quite significantly. You'd think. But yeah, we pretty much got rid of them. Run them down with my cavalry. When they fully round, I might actually fall them over there. Uh, yes, pretty big route going on here. I don't know what the best bet was. I don't know what I would have done, maybe. Not really much you can do, just tactically overly um, sound, but they're routing now. They're gone. Let's get my cavalry to run them down now. Right, get everyone. Let's move back up. Put the Peltasts and the Slingers. Group you. Right, so everyone, by you guys. So these are all my hoplites. Move up. Alright, everyone else should be, well, there's a unit there. Run them down. How many are there? 31. That's probably enough to uh, justify being out there. I guess. Okay. Generals and baggages. <laughs> Supply trains. <laughs> All up. Quickly just check on my cavalry. Oh, what, I do want to run down that unit there. But I reckon everyone else is... Uh, it's okay to move up. Everyone should be double timing. Let's get ready to take them down. I can't tell what this unit is doing. 
My cavalry will get there. Just a bit knackered, of course. Which I don't blame them. I might even just sort of spread out a bit. Let some of my units get some fresh air, because I would imagine they're exhausted, yes. Yeah, they were going for these guys. Might get one shot off with the slingers before the cavalry comes in and gets them. Yeah, <laughs> shattered instantly. <laughs> Make sure they don't come back and run them down. Alright, group you. Group you now. I want my slingers to get in here and start peppering them. Peltasts. I'm not really too sure about the range on them just yet. Cavalry. Uh, might be alright. I don't think they're really going to be needed that much though. Okay. Get into position everyone. Let's finish them off. Alright, get the slingers hit, hit in the cluster. I think it's probably the best bet. I don't know, those arrow towers are going to rinse them, so maybe I'm just better off just waiting how long they get tired. Exhausted, just give them a little bit, give them a little bit of a breather. There's not really much holding them. Those towers are going to bloody wreck us more than anything. I, I do regret doing that now, in hindsight. I just assumed that they would have arrow towers. Alright, let's charge these guys in then. Because these guys are sort of fresh and eager. Very tired. Active. By the time these guys come in, we should be okay. Oh, god damn it, I had it bloody grouped. Alright, you spear units going now. Everyone go in. They've really more moved their men to this flank to try to fall that back. Interesting. When the main push is coming from here. Alright, let's move up the uh, Perioke Poltast. Um, what have I done here? That's fine, yeah, move in. Get my slingers to hit that, I guess.
Can they shoot up and over up the Piltas? Maybe. Yeah, they seem to. Or maybe not because of the pill test. Need to be sort of like level, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't think the pill tests are really going to work in this. We'll pull you back. Right, slingers. Um. They're not out of ammo. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Just continue the charge. Continue to push. Continue to hit the cluster. I think it's the best bet. The thing about hoplites is they obviously got low attack, high defense. So, especially sieging a fort like this where they have unlimited arrow towers, we're going to lose a lot of casualties, which... Yes, it's a very big stuff up on my behalf, I do acknowledge that. I just would have, you know, I'm just going from the perspective of like a medieval sort of thing. Still got that ingrained that there's unlimited arrow towers in that. But yeah, we have lost a, quite a lot. Might start speeding things up. Just turning into a little bit of a grind at the moment, isn't it? We are going to win this. I do feel quite confident. One of our units has used all its ammunition. However, it is just going to take a a little bit of time to push through eventually. I might move my generals up. Just use some abilities. Just to help, I guess. But it looks like this unit's cooked her. Yep, I do know my general is under attack. Let's use these abilities now then. Use bloody everything we've got. Now fall him back before I lose him. <laughs> Move my other general just around here. Move you back. Go on, bring him down. That guy's gone as well. Still got a couple of slingers left with ammo. The men are wavering. Where the hell are my men are wavering? Oh my uh skirmishes. Ugh. A lot more of a grind than what I would have thought. Oh, I do have you into Peltas there. Call you back. Yeah, well, they don't need to be grouped because I'm not using them. They are. These guys are knackered. I don't want to lose them, so fall you back. going on there. God damn it, just push through. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm so bloody gutted about that. We've just lost so many bloody casualties, haven't we? Hell of a lot more than what was necessary. Well, we are going to be able to retrain them, so that won't be a problem. Just the unnecessary loss of lives. Um, yeah, I want to try to get as many of them as possible. We're going to need to get rid of these towers. It's like the bloody first thing. 
They're not running out, are they? So I got some friends that are sort of expert in running people down. I need the towers gone. Yeah, let's start running them down then. We have captured a tower. Okay, victory. A uh, pretty respectable. We have captured a tower. Close victory, I would say. They gave up a hell of a fight. Brave bastards. Oh, they're mine. <laughs> but I reckon most of them got killed in the town square. That is just a huge cluster. We are still... I reckon there's more friendly fire there than anything. Bloody hell, yeah, I'm gonna end that. Decisive victory! Okay, okay. 5,000 men deployed, we lost 1,148. Still not as much... Well, that's less than what I expected, to be perfectly honest. Bion deployed 6,650. Lost oh, 6,153. Yeah, they killed 737. Look how many we bloody lost. 500 men. Nearly half of what they killed was from Arrow Towers. By the gods. But a solid victory. Cavalry, 336. 341. But a solid victory, I'd say. Okay, decisive victory. Um, I am going to enslave. Because I do have a slave trader at Athens. And when I take the settlement, I will be able to sell slaves. So there might be a little, maybe one turn of, a little bit of province, uh... Instability, but we should be pretty well right. We'll finish off them. Um, actually, I'll break it. I want the uh, faction leader to take Nosos. Ah, victory! <laughs> We've taken them. Okay, what do they got here? Okay, that's a that's a decent barracks there. Gonna dismantle it, don't particularly need it, and I would like to change it to probably a farm. I don't really need ship rights at the moment, just yet, I don't think. Maybe Pella can be my my main ship right. But has Nosos been defeated? Fish, World Wonder, a Crete. Oh, that's not a very good one. Oh no, that actually is, oh, don't worry. How the hell are we still trust? Okay, we're on. <laughs> I was like, how the hell are we still trustworthy? And it's like Nosos, <laughs> untrustworthy. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. Um, right, we've got a disease because we bloody made everything on this island pretty skint, uh, to be honest. All right, we're disabling that. Yeah, it's because we bloody got rid of it all. That's the the problem we're having. But, we'll be able to get some more food once we can convert that down to a farm. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched it all the way through, guys, like and subscribe if you haven't already. You're most welcome to stay connected to me on my social media links if you want to. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are in the description below. If you want to play this mod along with me, is in the description below as always for the Divine Desimpera mod and the sub mods. But I'm going to end it here. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. I'll see you on more content on SimC Total War.
Catch you later.